A popular radio voice familiar to so many in West Michigan has gone silent. Connie Kelly, half of the Mix 95.7's Connie and Fish Morning Show team, died yesterday after a short battle with liver cancer. 13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft looks back on her career with help from her on-air partner, Fish Calloway. Because I was like, what is Poof playing with? Poof was my cat before oh, Kevin. No. From 6 to 10 every morning. And you take it over to the Crock-Pot lady, <laughs> and then she gives you a Crock-Pot. It was like she was right there. Who would beat up a Mickey? Beside us. <laughs> getting the day going. Connie had a, uh, a very beautiful voice. She had a great delivery. Connie Kelly took pride in being bold. Yeah, right next yeah. to the dumpster at Mason Junior High. <laughs> Brash. And the mouse was just sitting there and Poof was doinking him on the head. A bit of a radio rebel. When she first came here to West Michigan, her uh, program director at the time was like, I don't know why listeners like your show. I don't totally get what you're doing. It doesn't follow radio rules. Connie and I never really did. Fish Calloway. And I was her intern, and then I was her the sidekick, and then her co-host. The other half of Connie and Fish. My friend and business partner, uh, honor partner, mentor of, you know, 25 plus years was dying. Is getting by. Uh, it sucks. Remembering all the good. She just liked going on the air and entertaining people and making them smile or cry or laugh or feel good about their life for a couple minutes. Connie's last on-air appearance was in October. I haven't had the strength. Soon after she heard the words stage four, she offered these words for the listeners. In everyday life, you never know what's coming your way. Just in everyday life, when you're healthy and you're happy, and everything might be busy and crazy around you. You don't know what's coming. You never know. But I get the opportunity to know. And even though it's not what I wanted it to be, I get my opportunity to tell everybody that I love them in case something happens to me between now and the next time we talk. Love ya. Connie Kelly was a Michigan native, grew up in Waterford and attended Central Michigan University. No public service or memorial was being planned because of COVID-19. Connie did ask that any memorial contributions go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. She was 52 years old.